Knock, knock. Cows go. No, silly. Cows go moo. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> now, the thing that I don't understand is how that person we just heard tell that terrible joke is like a mini celebrity slash role model in the LDB, LPD, damn it. LGDP, LGT, LBG, LGBTQ2 plus. Isn't that exactly what I just said? Anyway, like, yeah, that person is put up on a pedestal in that community, which I, I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. However, nothing makes sense anymore, so sounds about right. Anyway, we're back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. And it's been a couple days, so what we're going to do today is go see what's happening over in the wacky world of woke TikTok. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. Everything woke turns to sh**, okay? Sure. Sure. Yeah, there is just no legitimate argument against that statement. Sorry, there's not. <clears throat> anyway, thank you guys so much for coming back. So, if you place your attention on the screen very briefly, this uh, photograph is making its rounds. And to me, this goes to show um, how deep the brainwashing in this country has gone. Um, we've got a gentleman here. For our blind subscribers and people sitting way, way, way in the back, you've got a gentleman here with a t-shirt, you know, sleeves cut off, as, um, hefty fella. And his T-shirt says, free vaccinated dad hugs. Free vaccinated dad hugs. All right. So in the dad, where dad, where the A is supposed to be, he's got a heart with the rainbow pride colors there. Now, he's shilling for Big Pharma, which to me is so bizarre. And then he is advertising that, like what, that people like to have relations with the same sex. I don't understand any of this. And I don't know if I saw this guy, I would be able to keep my mouth shut i i don't know what i would say to him but i don't think i'd be able to keep my mouth shut i don't know you were literally too stupid to insult <laughs> yeah i guess i guess yeah you just don't don't insult i just ignore them you realize how too far gone they are um people like that you can't they're just too far gone like i said the brainwashing is too deep so I would just ignore him. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mean or rude. Anyway, this person uh should immediately be fired from his teaching job. Roll the film, please. I'm in my classroom getting it ready. We are officially one week away from having students back in our school. I've been getting a lot of questions about how educators can create queer, safe, and inclusive classrooms for LGBTQIA plus students. So I thought I'd give you a couple of ideas. One of the most impactful things you can do, in my opinion is show your pride. Even something as subtle as a little rainbow flag or queer resources for your students lets them know that you're a safe person for them to come to if they need. On the first day of school or whenever you do introductions, make sure that you give students an opportunity to tell you what name they'd like to go by and what pronouns they use. Sometimes these things don't match with their official school records. Incorporate queer authors, artists, historical figures into your lessons. Well, all, gay. Second of all, stupid. Like I said, this person, I have no problem with this person being fired immediately. You don't need to turn your classroom into a personal shrine of what you believe in or what you, any of that. Slap an American flag on the wall and teach the kids math or science. This is insanity. This is pure insanity. Let's keep it moving, please. In my opinion, all of our institutions have just lost complete credibility. The medical, as I said just in a video a few days ago, um, our medical institutions have zero credibility with me anymore after all the nonsense that we've heard over the last two two and a half years with the whole uh china it's um but this is taking it to a whole nother level roll the film please so what does gender affirming care for these transgender youth actually look like as i mentioned before it's really highly individualized for the person but generally you can expect a transgender kid to socially transition first 
So what does this mean? It means that they might choose to be called by a different name or go by different pronouns. Example would be using he, him instead of she, hers. And then also they might choose to change the way they dress or cut or grow out their hair or style it differently. When a child hits puberty, puberty blockers can be started. This type of medication is completely reversible and has a lot of different benefits for the transgender patient and their family. First of all, it stops a child from going through a puberty that may be distressing for them. For example, a child who is assigned female at birth but identifies as male might be distressed to learn that they start to develop breasts. So basically what puberty blockers do is they simply halt puberty. They're not going to have any masculinizing effects or feminizing effects. Secondly, puberty blockers give families and children more time to decide the appropriate treatment for them. It gives time for children to not have to make this decision at, you know, 10 years old and allows them to maybe make the decisions more at 14, 15 years old. It allows time for the family to learn about all the different treatment options and create a plan over many years that might work out better for them. And lastly, puberty blockers can help the trans patient going forward. It can help reduce unnecessary medical interventions. For example, if a child, again, who might be assigned female at birth, goes through an undesired puberty and, let's say, develops breasts, then down the road they might need surgical intervention if they wish to have top surgery, reconstructive surgery, to um, rid themselves of the breast, get a flat chest. So by preventing an incorrect puberty from occurring, you are stopping any development of things that you might want to reverse later as a transgender patient. You're a liar! You're a liar! You know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar! Wow! Wow! Now this person has scrubs on, so I'm assuming they're in the medical profession somehow, some way. I don't know how, but... <sighs> there is no way this person believes anything that they just said. That you just stop a person's growth, puberty, whatever, and, and then it just magically is okay whenever you want to restart it down the road. This is insanity what they're doing. And they, <sighs> this, uh, this, zero credibility in the medical, keep it moving. All right, and here we have another teacher. I don't know if this teacher's using some kind of filter or something, but this is kind of, kind of frightening to me. Anyway, before we roll the film, I got to give a huge, huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is being brought to us by the YouTube channel, Hillbilly Hullabaloo. Hillbilly Hullabaloo. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, sir. Greatly appreciated. Um, I'll say it again. You guys are keeping this ship afloat as YouTube's overlords are trying to sink us. Still shocking, I know. Anyway, Hillbilly Hullabaloo has a channel on the YouTubes that I will link in the description box below. So after this video, if you want to go check his channel out, I'm sure he would greatly appreciate the love and support over there. And if you would like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. Roll the film, please. So I thought I'd bring you an update of the whole gender identity situation and how I'm handling it in my classroom. So the student who originally asked me about, you know, pronouns and identifiers, and if I had them, I went up to her and I asked what the best way for me to go about this with students was. And they told me that I should take, take the time and individually ask each student privately to know what their identity was, how I should refer to them, and how I should refer to them around their parents, because that's a different issue. I then took a minute to thank them because, I mean, this, this is an important change that I need to make, and I wanted them to know that they're responsible for it. Okay, this is where it gets heartfelt. The way this individual thanked me for what I was trying to do and the attempts I was making, I mean, guys, I, t I had to take a minute. I cr there was a little bit of crying. Not in front of her, on my own, in my own car. It's a man, baby! I thought she was a man. She is rather mannish. If that is a woman, it does look like she was beaten with an ugly stick. This looks like some sort of movie villain. Imagine just telling your students, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to play all that make-believe stuff. So let's just get out your textbooks and learn today. Keep it moving, please. All right, here's another teacher. Shocking, shocking, I know. Um, and this teacher we've had in a video not too long ago. Um, she's got the lanyard thing on there with the... Uh, she's got the syringe, I'm guessing, for <laughs> vaccinated. And then she's got the pride flag. Um, it says, when L LGBTQ plus kids tell me their parents aren't accepting. Roll the film. Look, look, I have to take her home now. We have to take her home. We have to take her home. 
It says, don't worry, I'll be your school mom, little ones. Um, no offense, but it sounds like some commie gobbledygook. <laughs> These people truly believe that your children, our children, would be better off being raised by them. And they're insane uh, ideologies. They they truly believe it. They, they've they kind of said the quiet part out loud at this point. It will convert your children. Yes, we will. All right, listen, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up, so we're going to be a little shorter than usual today. So if you made it this far, give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. You guys know I can't do this alone, so thank you so much for trudging ahead. And listen, um, if you don't mind, if you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up button and like that comment section up. I they, I don't know. They they just, uh, you know, YouTube is just not, they're, they're making sure these videos aren't getting seen. I've gotten emails and messages and comments from people saying they have their notification bell on. They're not getting notified that the videos aren't showing up in their timeline. And, and some people are. It's just, uh, they do their best to make sure that we get as few views as possible. So, um, and people say that the thumbs up button, the comment section helps with the algorithm. So if you don't mind doing that, that would be great. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, become a member of this amazing community. Now, this is an old clip. It's just shocking to me that this teacher wants to take her students to the pride parade with her. Why not go with your friends or your family? What do your students have to do with any of this stuff? And from what we've seen that happens at these pride parades, this is no place for her students. I'm wondering if she got them together for a field trip and duped to the parents. Or, depending on where it is, the parents probably let them. Roll the film. All right. I'm going to uh, leave it on mute because there's a rap song playing in the background that uh, would be copyrighted. So it says, celebrating pride with my students for the first time. One year later. But I, I just don't understand any of this. All her students are there with her. That's so bizarre to me. Scary gay. Scary gay. Scary gay. Stop! All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up with this one. Uh, oh, these people. This is another teacher. Shocking, shocking. I know, I know. Uh, it says, hmm, comment says, hmm, our public education system is a remarkable failure. Try again, friend. And I can't disagree with that. Um, with all this CRT stuff and gender theory stuff being pushed on kids. And then, I mean, and I know that's not everywhere. And I know there are some great teachers out there and some great schools out there. Um, but what we saw with the scamdemic excuse me plandemic excuse me pandemic in the past um couple of years where they just forced kids to have the obedience diapers on their faces and uh it, it was just in, completely insane what's these um some of some of these public schools have turned into so let's uh wrap it up on this one listen guys take care of yourselves take care of each other it's getting wild out there it's only gonna get worse so be safe love you guys till next time peace roll the film please Thought you did something with this comment, but no. Our public education system being a remarkable failure, as you are referring to it, has a lot to do with conservative policies and conservative policymakers. I'm going to use Tennessee as an example because that is where I live. But in Tennessee, Governor Bill Lee, who is a conservative governor, he is a Republican governor, he signed into law an anti-CRT bill, which changed the way a lot of students, if not every student in the state of Tennessee, learns. Governor Bill Haslam of Tennessee took away teachers' right to collective bargain, essentially getting rid of teachers' unions. Unions are how we have fair working conditions, and if we don't have fair working conditions, kids don't have fair learning conditions. This, this is a conservative policy issue. Supporters of Donald Trump are making public education that much worse. You're, you're a f idiot. And you ain't black.